Hello once again and welcome back to the Scalping Pro FX channel. Today uh, we'll be looking at uh, market structures, demand and supply, and then resistance and support. As a newbie trader, these are the building blocks that should form your initial education for forex trading. But before we get into that, uh, I want us to do a quick optimization of our charts because you realize that most FX traders, beginners especially, don't have a good idea of how to optimize your charts to give you the advantage on the market. Ideally, when you open your MetaTrader for the first time, you find that um, this is the default screen. And that is not to say MetaTrader is the only setup or trading platform to use when you come to trading. There are several ones. There's NinjaTrader, there's CTrader. Uh, but I prefer to use MetaTrader because um, uh, since my, my trading days, I started uh, with it straight away until... I'm able to relate very well with it anyway so let's quickly get into optimizing knowing how to optimize your charts to give you a fair and a far a clearer view of what the market is doing I mean at the first glance you realize that everything looks like there's it's all chaos but once you optimize your charts and then we get into the main lecture for today we will get some clarity all right, uh, so the first thing will be to go to my properties and then try and then change the color setup to make it friendlier, should I say. So my background, I'll try and then see if I can uh, go into white background. Let's see, okay. So that, you see the foreground is black. So, I mean, as you can see in the preview, I'll maintain the grid lines as a same color bar up or bullish candle I will prefer let's see I prefer red most people will prefer green most people will prefer blue I mean it's your preference okay as you're the trader and it's your chart it should be something you resonate with it's something that you relate to so there's no standard of standard color or whatever do what makes you comfortable so I go with red, right, and then um, bar down. Today I will take a blue bull candle, which is also the same as the bar up. This they are in consonance anyway. So same red, and then um, so as you can see from the preview our chart is looking more friendly as look it's it's getting clearer um line graph i'm going to leave that i will not touch okay the ask ask line will, will remain same this is what i have for them. then uh let's go here come on uh show the ask line because you want to see the duality of pricing. I mean, as you know, market price and market price is dual is dual bid and ask. So and then I would like to show period separators. But then the grid lines, I would like to take them off. It's a pers it's a personal pr uh, preference anyway. If you want to keep yours on, that's fine. Go ahead. But I prefer my chart without the grid lines. Okay, beyond that. Let's see. So there it is so as you can see now let me just increase size now as this, these are OHCL candles OHCL simply means open high close and then low we will do a, a separate video on explaining what these type of these this type of impressions mean this OHCL and the can, Jap Japanese candlesticks but I, I prefer Japanese candlesticks so I would like to change to this and obviously this looks far better from the previous chat um, what else okay so you see uh, as, you, as you can see there are three of them there are line graphs this is what a line graph looks like I, I don't prefer this doesn't give me any meaning I mean there are traders that prefer this 
there's nothing wrong with it it's your preference again but for me this is what i resonate this is what i am okay with so now that i have this it's on the 15 minutes and it runs through because i made sure if you look here and see it runs through it runs through for every time frame so um <clears throat> All right, see, but then again, most traders will complain. I always change my charts, and then when I close and then come back, it's gone. Uh, I think you have to learn to save it as a template. That also helps. So for me, I come to you come to template, save template. And so, how do you name your template? I will name my template. And as you can see, I have all that I have, I have templates I've created in the past. So I'm going to name this. Uh, Scalping Pro and save. So tomorrow, if I open a new chart and it's green, I just come to templates and then I look for Scalping Pro. And once you click it, the set the settings flow through. You don't have to go through it over and over again. Okay, everything is looking on the up and up. Uh, okay. This looks good for now. We'll keep the grid lines, even though they look a bit of they look like a bit of a distraction. But uh, they have their use anyway. They are they are they are period intervals. So I th so for the one day, you can see this the period interval is one month. For the four hour, it's a week. This is the overview week on week. I mean, it gives you a very good overview, yes. Um, moving, moving on, uh, we look at... This is great. Excellent. Now that we've saved our template. Let me keep this here. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, that should be. I think this is a, a very a fairly good step on your trading journey. I mean, now that we finish, this should this should go a long way to helping you set up and optimize your charts. Thank you for your time.
once again. Hello again and then welcome back to another lecture on the Scalpin Pro YouTube channel. Today in our second lecture we'll be looking at market structures, demand and supply zones, support and resistance. I mean as a trader you, you should be able to outline or optimize your chart so that you can you can you can you can you can determine market structure. You see that is one of the the basic building blocks as a trader. You should be able to determine your market structure. You should know what the market structure is. Ideally, when you look at the charts, it looks like there's no order in what's happening. But the reality is that there is a certain order to what the market does. And this cannot be denied. We will prove, um, and as we go on, I'm going to prove that. I'm going to show you how to read the market, how to determine structure. As a trader, you should you, you should be able to to form the to form a basis from which you are going to take your decisions to trade on the to trade on the markets. So whether you're going to be buying, whether you're going to be selling, uh, where you where, which which time frame you're going to look for uh, inputs, or which time frame you're going to look for entries and exits. How you're going to how you're going to go about your trading activity and as a newbie trader to be specific this should form this 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 exercise should form the very basis of your your your, your routines on on the on the assumption of the chart every time any chart you open you should you should go through this routine first it it, it, it opens you up to the market it gives you it's, it's a good habit to have as to be a successful trader you don't just open the chart and then quickly go in to sell or to buy. You have to analyze the chart. And so you have to find out what is the structure? What is this market doing? You see, the market is a very big place. The market has an idea. The market is doing something. What is it doing? You cannot control it. You have to be able to find out. You have to be able to read the market, see what it's, 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 it's all about, what it's doing. And once you know that, for sure, you should be able to go ahead and then take opportunities you find opportunities in that and then you make some profits for yourself so today in so in so doing we're going to start with a from the higher time frame so we're going to be using the cable pound dollar as our reference you can pick any time any currency pair and then start and then start analyzing yourself once you're done with this video pick a currency pair analyze and then make a set a timetable for yourself to analyze one chart a day for as long as you can it will get to a point you will need to do all the structure analysis but when you look at the chart you would have trained your eye to see direct and then defined moves in the market anyway let's let's get to it so uh as as said earlier we're going to be looking at the monthly time frame and then we're going to be using the red trend line to determine or to draw candle to draw to draw our trend lines our market push-ups our retracements our pullbacks we're going to be using, on the monthly time frame we're going to be using the red the red uh, trend line so let's pick so now this is how we go about it um, first First and foremost, let's just go to properties and pick our color red. If you want the thickness of the line, you can. If you want a straight line, you want. If you want a dotted line, every setup, you just have to pick from the drop-down list here. So I'm done. Uh, it should show, make sure it's showing on all time frames. That's fine. Okay. So um, we'll start as far back as possible. For monthly time frame, you don't have so much candles because um, I think the charts don't go back too far beyond 1995 for my charts specifically. So I pick 
So once I pick, I want to start with, I'll start from as far back as here. Ideally, you, you don't have to go and then start from so far off as you go down to the lower time frames because there's a lot of candles and there's a lot of time. It's a lot, it's a shorter time frame, so there's a lot of candle data. Best, you, you look as far back, you look as far back as possible. Maybe beginning of the year, beginning of last year, that should be okay. And then you have your, you can go ahead and then put in your structures. There's no, there's no, there's no specific or correct way to do this. You have, it has to make sense. It should be reasonable. Okay, you're looking for definite moves in the market. Anyway, right. So, as you can see, this is more definite. I mean, yes, as you know, there was an initial pull, there was an initial drop, and then a rise. But obviously, this is a more definite drive. So from here, the next drive came here. Again. You see this drop here and then rise. I mean, if you want, you can go here and then go there. Ultimately, get here. There's, there's no, it's not, it's not, it's not cast in stone. But it should be reasonable. It gets to a point when you practice, practice, practice. You realize that there are mini uh, structures and then there are major structures. So for me, I pick. This is a major structure for me, and I'll explain. I'll show you why. As we go on. Because you see, the market price respects structure. The market has an order of doing things, and price respects this order. Shoot back up. And um, a massive drop to the downside. Somebody will want, if you're looking at me, you can, you want, you can go here, go there, ultimately head, head back up here, drop up here, and go here. This makes and make it a habit to make it a habit to do be exact in the market. Don't be haphazard because you see, as as a trader, one of your key a successful trader has certain habits that they don't deviate from. This forms the your 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 your, your, your very foundation in terms of setting a plan, being consistent in the market. Okay, let's try. So, as as you can see, market from the low, you can see a, a higher low from this high here. Okay, let's go. It could not breach. It could not breach the previous high in this. So it's a lower high, and then yet another lower high. Structure. Learn to read structure. This defines the market. Better defines the market, as you can see. Okay, so we go on. Finally, for the monthly time frame, it's not so. There are not so many candles. I mean, you can expect to come here, go back up here before you drop, and then go here. But ultimately, this is more definitive as a move for me. And then you have it, voila. And then from here, as you as you by now know, you can drop here, come back up here, drop to from the double bottom that we all know, and have come to love. <laughs> and then currently, market is in a pull up up here. So we, we, we it looks like it's a, it's going to reverse, but I mean there are ways to determine that, and then you need confirmations to be sure of yourself. So let's put this here for now. But ideally, so what was what looked like chaos, what looked like there was no method, is now well defined. And then you can see there is a certain ebb and flow about the market. The market res price respects structure. Know that. Never, never be in doubt. When in doubt, determine the structure of the market. Tr practice. You have. This is something you have to practice and practice and practice. There's no one way of getting there. There's no one way of doing it right or one way of doing it wrong. No, it has to be reasonable. You have to look for definite moves. If you want to be picking every short-term move, every, it's going to take you forever. Ideally, the overall goal here is to know, have a broad view of what the market structure looks like. So from here now, we'll go, we'll go to the lower time frame. We'll pick, I think we'll pick uh, the weekly time frame. And then look 
to see the structure within structure okay and then after that to, to and for the intents and purposes of the, the, the discussion we, we might forgo other uh, the other time frames and then head into demand and supply and then analyzing the structure we have determined in the market so let's quickly go back as far back as we can let's see where can we okay great let's start from here and so for the weekly candle we're going to use a blue trend line to determine that and as i showed you earlier when you pick your yeah I mean, you can. It, it's not cast in stone. I mean, it's, it's not cast in stone that it should be different colors. It makes it, as a newbie trader, it gives you perspective. You understand? But as you go ahead and then you grow in your trading career, you, 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 you're going to want to have one color, irrespective of the time of the time frame. But because you, you understand what you're doing, when you look at your when you look at the trend or you look at the chart, you can tell that okay, this was drawn on the higher time frame. This is on the lower time frame. But but for now, as you grow, you should. You should you should have a certain you should have a guide you should have a certain plan that helps you that protects you you know that cushions you to optimize your trading experience so for us we're going to go with blue for the one week time frame the weekly time frame I mean so from here real quick um I'll, I'll, i'm gonna put this there you can see a initial drive pull back i'll just put this okay that's the reason i'm i'm paying attention to that particular one and i'll explain soon enough Just mini one two. So as you can see, there is structure within structure, and that's why on the higher time frame you don't want to be following every mini drive because you might find out that they are there are structures that are relevant on the lower time frames. These these kind of structures help you when you're when you're when you're you're hedging your position. It, it gives you an idea of where to put your stop such that you are not taken out before the the market makes a, a, a more a more bigger move so that you can make more profits again a quick drive up and a drop down notice and as i said make it make it a habit to do the right thing from the beginning don't 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 think it's okay that okay it's a bit slanted i don't know build positive habits if you look at if you watch my earlier video on why they are successful traders and then why they, some traders fail failing traders don't build positive habits and if you cannot take the time to pick this small these are minute details you want you don't want to get them right in such a very chaotic market i i don't want to sound negative but you will have some challenges I could go up here, drop back down here, and then boom. But for the sake of expediency, I'll try and then not to. Yeah. So I mean, as of now, it should become more apparent to you what we're doing. This is this is not difficult. It's very it's very easy. Once you invest yourself a little, commit yourself, and then take maybe. And ah, you can do some initial practice, and you get it. And as we go on, I'm gonna you see how important it is that you do this. New structure high. I'll pick this dip for a reason. And then fly over. All of this. Let's pick this dip. In fact, to be more precise, it should be okay. It should be you. We can use you. 
there's no one correct way as i keep saying dip new new structure high the higher high as you can see it's obvious markets in here is an, in an uptrend and you, you you see the clues as to why it's in an uptrend as i come to explain the structure that you have determined but you have to be able to determine structure you have to be able to do this this is your key this is one of the keys on your journey to be a successful market trader i can choose to come here go back up here drop there drop there but ultimately let me just okay price is on its way here there's not so much as but if you go into the lower time frames you you will see these small these small moves because that these short term moves on the lower time frames are quite significant don't make the mistake of thinking okay so it's small on this high weekly time frame it just says no it's very very significant on the lower time frames and it plays a big role in your taking of entries take the time the commitment i mean it looks very painstaking but it is very important look without this boom okay it goes on and on and on and on all the way you you have to pick try your pet try your very best to pick these anyway so now that you have this okay let's go back to the higher time frame and then start looking at what i mean by market structure what what, what it means to analyze your market structure okay so notice there was an initial drive from up here it dropped price went down formed found support bounced off that support and then what what did it do it dropped back down why why here what's so special about this particular support and i say i say to you there's a golden rule when you are doing you are analyzing your market from a market structure point of view simply put the market the market leaves clues how do you find these clues one of the ways to do that one of the key ways one of the very key ways to find confirmation to be to be sure that my analysis i am doing or the demand level i am doing is relevant look left if you look left you see you see what's happening on the left remember this ninja drive up it, it found it found resistance here it broke the, there is it could not it could not break through it dropped and then from this point it, it came all the way and notice that when it came up here a bit there was a bit of a struggle but ultimately price broke through and guess what even before it went far up it did well it retested and as you can see this is on the lower time frame and you see how important the lower time frame is you see how doing your analysis on the time frame by time frame it gives you perspective it gives you a very clear idea what the market is doing so as you can see there is a certain order to what market is doing and price respects this Big news events can come in, come and throw the market off, but ultimately price will resume its structural activities. It will go back to structure. Price always goes back to structure. Okay. If you look at, if you if you want an analogy, I can use uh, a, a stream that is running. If you throw what, if you throw a stone into it, trust me, it's going to distract. It's going to cause ripples. But ultimately, once it settles, it resumes its direction. That is how price behaves. let's let's quickly see what i mean by it. here let me use the line in fact this will be better um let's let's just go let's go to a default black okay great notice what's happening here excellent as you can see price came back broke support and guess what support becomes what 
resistance and resistance becomes support so price price shattered through the resistance came close to retesting it but ultimately came twice one and then two and you see these are clues that yes my market this is what market is doing my analysis is actually relevant this these will give you that this should give you that confidence price came into this level and guess what it broke through it bounced off from the level it bounced off after creating this high and then a higher high it created a new structure high look here and from from here there was a free fall all the way down here and where did it go where did it go when it fell it fell through this support this support could not hold as you can see support could not hold If support doesn't hold, we, we, we have the feeling price will do what? Will come back and then retest it. Okay. Once it breaks the support, we, we there's there's always that tendency of price coming back to those levels. Yeah, so it came all the way and then tested the previous low, the very structure low here. Look at this. This is just this is just beautiful. There's order in the market. Price is not just moving up and down, no. It is moving to a certain rhythm. It is playing to a certain beat. It dropped into this, found support here, broke up, came almost came almost close to the previous uh, support it broke. They didn't get there, but you see, the now now this support has become this this previous support has now is almost is looking like a resistance now. Price could think price retraced. And then if, if, if it went into a channel, it was moving sideways. Okay, price started to move sideways. Now, after some time, it broke through. It broke out of the channel. If you let me for illustration purposes, this this will be this will be our channel. Let me use let me use the rectangular. This will be our channel. I'm not drawing this to scale yet, but I'm going to teach you how to draw a more relevant demand and supply levels as I go on in the video here yeah. look at this channel you see price stayed in the channel and yes somebody will say isn't channel isn't supply and demand level is it not the same as is, are they not the same as um, support and resistance yes they are cut from the same cloth they are but they have two different outlooks okay Demand and supply gives you an economic outlook of price behavior. Why did it bounce off this level? Why did why are sellers in control? Are buyers in control? Did they why did the sellers reject price? Why did buyers return price from reject price from an economic point of view? However, support and resistance it just it it, it magnifies price action behavior. This is the disparity. Support and resistance magnifies price action behavior, so that. Support becomes resistant. Price test the, uh, the, the find support, bounces off, breaks through support, retest it, becomes resistant, and then drops off, falls off again. That is that is price action. But demand and supply also they behave similar. But it tells you, it gives you an idea, okay, from an economic standpoint. And as you can see, it stayed in the channel for some time, broke out of the channel, and as I said look at the initial retest and then and then rejection then it dropped came back to retest dropped further again and then it's now hovering around just below the channel just below the channel in fact it has it has it has formed a, some another channel in itself and uh as you as, as you might know price spends a lot of time in channels price spends a lot of time in channel if you see a, a deep dive down or up, it's mostly moving out and then moving into another channel. Yeah, as you can see, channel, channel Z. These are this is what this is this is what market structure, demand and supply, su support and resistance. But we will go deeper into demand and supply as the video goes on. Let's let's go now. Let's go down to the one week to see if we can see some structure. Let's let's see some in structure within structure. Here, now take a close look at this particular enclave here. 
Now, as you can see, this is a typical uptrend. And what, 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 what how would you define an uptrend? You see higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, and then corresponding higher lows. You see them? That is a typical uptrend. But now that you know the structure, what do you see? Look left. I keep saying look left. Now see, price move up here, all the way up here. It retraced a bit, and then rallied again. Came back up, retraced. Look left. Where did it retrace to? Is there a previous, was there, is there a support? Has there been a support before, earlier? There it is. Market leaves clues. There it is. The market leaves clues. If you look left, the golden rule, you will find it. You will find these clues. They are there. They are there for the They are there for you. But depends on how well you you determine your strategy, how well you, you you optimize your charts for them to tell you the story of what the market is doing. Otherwise, you are going to you are going to have a tough time of the market. There are there are clues in the market. As you can see, a further draw, a further extension of the line will tell you. So price broke through. It broke through a resistance one, first resistance, second resistance. And then did what? Came back in to test it. I mean, yes, you are expecting it to touch the line. No, but you see, because there are so many, there are so many activities going on that affect pricing behavior. You see. Algos are trading, EAs are trading, retail traders, corporate traders, you know, institutional traders. They are all, all these activities are, so you, you will not get a perfect enough market, but it is, it will come close to the reality of price action. It will come close to tell you that this is what I'm doing. This is, this is what the story is. Came so close, but then bounced off, formed a new structure high, and then the trend was determined and when I say trend is determined I mean the trend ended here at this very level as you can see trend was determined here you see why do I say that after the high they formed a lower high a further lower high a lower low and then price could it, it couldn't form a lower low here again but as you can see evidently once it dropped these all these supports could not hold this support didn't hold this support once it breaks through like this it forms a kind of an arc then you know that trend has determined and there are there are there are other ways of confirming this so you can take trades and then what and then make some gains you can either use patterns to confirm you can look at indicators to confirm for example if you look at the indicator on our chart here as of the time price got up here way up here it was very close to the overbought region. It had already gone overbought. It had already gone overbought, and then a further, a further, a further launch to the 70% line. But this time, it couldn't even get there. So you see, that tells you that price was losing momentum gradually. And this is a weekly time. It's a high, a high, a high time frame. So things don't move as fast as on the lower time frames. And things are not noisy here. When I say noisy, on the lower time frames, news events have the, the, the effect of news events are more pronounced on lower time frame, time frame as compared to on the higher time frames. The higher time frames take they, 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 they give you a long term economic outlook, outlook as with respect to um, activities on a geopolitical level, um, technical and then fundamental of these uh, currencies. And then they are they are, dom they are, they are domicile countries. The, 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 the policies that are taken, the longer term, the longer and the higher time frame will show will show in the long run what the effect of these policies are on the currency pair or on the currency to be precise. Again, as price dropped, look. As it got to the previous support, there was some reaction. It, 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 bounced, it bounced off, came, broke through, retested, as you can see. But because you see, it's a higher time frame, so you don't really see the, you know, it's not so pronounced. 
for you to see. But as you do your analysis and you go to the lower time frames, these will be apparent. And you have to put in the time to be able to chat, optimize your charts. Let your chat, let the chat tell you the story. Let it tell you what the market is doing. There you go. Even within the channel, as you can see clearly, there are mini channels in there. You see, prices, you see, there is a certain order in the market. There is, if, you, if you are able to optimize your charts, do your structural analysis, all this, the, the market will start telling you what it's doing. You will see the clues. You will start seeing entries and exits. You will start seeing them, where you should enter, where you should exit. For example, in this situation, if I see initial drop and then a pullback here, this was a, this was a previous supply zone let me let me say it's a supply zone or a, a resistance notice that as soon as price got in here a bearish engulfing was formed but i'll explain more on these uh on the candlesticks and then they reverse out they, they, they give the, the the confirmations they give a respect to their their construct it quickly dropped quickly tested that it retested and then it was on its way so if I'm to sell, I put I ideally generally I put my stop my stops up here. I I enter, I wait, I I, I, I enter on the drop. On the on the drop, and then I hold my I hold my position for as long as I and then based and then based on your risk reward, based on your risk reward strategy that you have already outlined in your trade plan, remember as a successful trader from video one, from lecture one. You should, you should, it gives you a good idea where your stop loss or your, your stop loss is going to be for, for the risk you are taking, your take profit is going to be, and then also what lot size you're going to be taking, especially on this higher time frame where it's not always the best to be taking trades. You have to drill down into the lower time frames to see what's happening, to get your sniper entries, a more, a more efficient entries. So for, for me, I pick, you pick ideally the 15 minutes time frame should be a great of great help it'll be difficult to anyway let's should it should be it'll be anyway let's yeah it's more granular at this level it gives you a better entry you get your better entries here notice the the bold bullish candle and then subsequent subdued candle that tells you that price is exhausted price is, exhaust, is exhausted and then on the and then again another confirmation will be your rsi telling you price is overbought price is overbought here yeah. but you need to you need to you, you don't just take just one confirmation you have to have a multiple you have multiple confirmations multiple confirmations the more confirmations you get on the market the better for you move on okay so uh, now let's look let's take a let's take a gander at uh, how to draw your your spot uh, your demand and then support zone supply zones it's a, a bit technical here but it is not beyond you as a newbie trader for now you should learn to be you should practice how to draw these demand and support and then watch the market go in there come out see how the market behaves don't be in a hurry Again, don't be in a hurry to place a trade. Don't be in a hurry, hurry that, okay, I see people making profit. No, they are going without, they are going without me. They're leaving me here. Nobody's leaving you behind. The market is not going anywhere. And so long as the market is active, the opportunities are endless. It is up to you to bid your time, prepare yourself. And definitely, when the time is right and you start picking, you, you, you start picking your trades, you will realize you have done yourself a favor, but not being in a hurry. Don't don't go in there and then be panicking to pick panic trades it doesn't help your capital be ready make sure you're ready to expose your capital before you do be sure of yourself i mean you can't be 100 percent absolute because nobody knows what the market will do tomorrow but with these structures these not the knowledge of the market it gives you a better you stand a better chance of being successful so um right 
So ideally, for demand and supply levels, you're looking for portions of the market where price got to and then quickly dropped or quickly shot out or let me say rallied these are very key let's let's go on to the higher time frame here let's take these out these were not drawn to scale You can see when price came into this zone quickly gradually got in here and then all of a sudden it, it was on its way this is a this can be a very this is a this is a typical demand level so yeah and ideally I just wanted I just wanted to blow to the candle so you can see for sure you're looking for for a demand level you're looking at the last you're looking at the last bearish candle on the trend here at the very bottom here the last bearish candle the very low of that candle and then the open of the candle not the high the open very low the open Some will want to couch it with their with both their trend lines and then okay. So there. I'll try my very my best to okay, I might, I'll get uh, okay, so there. Excellent. Okay, so as you can see there. And like I said, when you do these things, you, you need certain clues to tell you, okay, what you're doing has has a certain efficacy. It's 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 it's, it's 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 right to a large extent it's it's relevant let me use the word it's relevant to what the market wants wants to do by itself okay it gives you certain relevance there are clues to look out for okay so this trend line that i drew how relevant is it on the market i mean yes you might connect it to one or two high candles and then think it is no but the point is are you refer are you referencing the right candles in the in the uptrend are you referencing the right in the downtrend the demand level you've developed have is it is it relevant in the market let's let's use for there it is and then uh further as i said okay now let's go there but before we go before we even go right the golden rule says what look left is that not it this was the furthest but check it out look price had already come into this zone found enough buyers shot out but the buyers were not enough to drive a move like this one so they retraced it came back to look for more liquidity let me say picked it up and then it was on its way even before that event it, it dropped again to fine. and then in here some some people will see what we call um the the reverse heads and shoulders because you see first shoulder the head shoulder and this is a key reversal signal and as we go on in our trading lectures we will come to 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 these reversal signals and then we will draw them out another one of them is a double top the double bottom these you, these, these these patterns you find them these you find them at key areas of the charts on the markets reversal areas but you have to draw your structure to be able to tell which areas are key in the first place you see as you as you've drawn as you can see evidently after drawing the demand level you're seeing your first you see you're seeing you're seeing the clues the clues are shown let me make it a bit apparent so here let's see here this is the lowest part there it is mm -hmm. learn market structure these are basic I, I, I refer to them as low hanging fruits things that you can quickly learn on your own okay. you don't you don't really need a mentor for these basic things you should be able to learn them on your own 
and then you look for the advanced knowledge from your your mentor again referring to the previous video on how successful traders behave these are some of the things as you can see let me just put some coloring in here I'm not There it is. There it is. So, um, yeah, and then the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I, you can see a very beautiful. That's it. Let me just set it out here. Okay, so you see head shoulder shoulder and ideally I mean let me just digress a little uh, you you want to have this here to measure the move once it breaks and you see the break and as you can see this becomes the breakout candle once it broke out like this you're expecting price to go at least and I said I and I say at least because this is a reversal signal it is not an absolute uh, phenomena this is it's a reversal signal so price might go at least to that level or and beyond anyway we'll come to trading these patterns and how where to set your stops where to put your entries where to put your your targets but I mean just for illustration purposes just to illustrate the importance of knowing how to draw or determine your market structure what is the market doing once you start doing them properly they will it will start showing you clues it will start showing you this is what I'm doing this is this is I what I want it wants to reverse this is how it reverse this it will give you the clues to to give your analysis that efficacy that says okay you are doing to a large extent what is right not what you want because you see, you can never, you can never control the market. No, the market will do what it wants to do, irrespective of what you do or you don't do. So the best is find out to a large extent what the market is doing by drawing in your your structure, and then when you when you 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 have an idea, you can then have find the opportunities and then take that. Now let's go, as you see, again. This would ideally in real in real time when you did this this would not be here but when price comes to your level here it will start giving you the clues look at the rejections long body long candles long tail candles with very small bodies this is exhaustion price is exhausted you see look at the look at the candle bold candles bold candles but as it got down further the candles the bodies start to shrink this, is, this these are also clues that price is getting exhausted look then now it wasn't able to form look very small bodies, very small bodies. These are all, it's, it's, these are, this is reversal language. And again, at your supply level. This is at the supply level. If this is not a clue, I don't know what is. Because you see, you could have come here to draw this. And then when you look back, you will see it, you will see the supply level sitting there. That would have been a clue. But the assumption was that price has started forming from here, and this was not formed yet. Anyway. So let's move on let's look out for further and you see you you have this is on the monthly time frame as you go down into the lower time frames you will find other minor and major supp supply and demand levels but you should know how to draw them we just we just handle and we just handled one this is a this is a demand level and then with the demand level we, we use what the bearish the last bearish candle here the low of the candle to the open of the candle I repeat the low of the candle to the open that should be where you how you, you you plot your demand level now let's see what a supply level can look like for for posterity's sake it came up here drop came here this drop was not it's not so it's, it's not it's not that eminent but we're going to look at this one look at this that's a massive drop this is a, is a key this is a key supply level this so what do we what do we what do i say we pick so for the for 
ease of reference let's pick the line charts and so the high of the day the high of that candle the high the very high the candle as against what the open of the candle there that is the open you see be very circumspect this is the open this is where it closed and so for for supply levels you're looking at what um, you're looking at a bullish candle but for demand level you're looking at a bearish candle keep that in mind this and so let's try and then put in for for optimization let's put in our okay Okay, so excellent. So I just want to extend this here so that you keep. I mean, this is my this is a habit I develop for myself. I, I like to I like to be sure I like to make sure of my and yes, it doesn't have to be all the way. The line, the lines, the line, the lines, the trend lines are okay. And make sure that once you you want to change you want to make a change to your trend lines position you have to double click the line that bo this box will form then you can move it up and down so you want to change that or maybe i want to put it up here you do that but uh ideally this is where we were we're picking the very high of the day okay that's fine again now let's come back uh i hope we don't have any references from behind here because for the monthly time frame it is a bit obscured but look left this was the this was the reference candle when you look left you can see price that is a zone that's all you see this is a key zone this this is this is a clue that what you're doing is right it's to a large extent what you're doing is right so you see there there's a first clue and then eminently as price price came into that zone look at the candle it needed it needed a very bold candle to break through and then it, it kept you see it stayed on the level it says so as we say demand uh, support resistance becomes support support becomes resistance and as i said both of them are cut from the same cloth but they have two different outlooks one gives an economic perspective one gives a magnitude or it gives it gives a better understanding of price action um, test test and then it bounces off and then what happened it came back to find support it tested tested and then finally broke through the support Somewhat, once again you as as ev evidently you you can see the reversal pattern so you see apart from the fact that there's a these candlesticks are giving you confirmation of what's going to happen you can find the patterns also giving you confirmation some you can see the double the head and double shoulders again as you can see it in there but enough of that that will be more of that will come in subsequent lectures the break and then it breaks and then it's off to the races yes ideally price action says once it breaks it should retest it is not always the same because you see the as i said the market is it's not perfect it doesn't you see it doesn't it doesn't do what you expect it always no but ideally to a large to, to a high number of time it will it has certain behaviors it's what it, it puts up or it puts across like break and then retest but it is not going to do that every time for you depending on the pressure or the momentum of the sell or the or the move of price it might go and then come and then retest that level later in, in in some time to come it's not supposed to it's not it's not cast in stone that it's going to do that today or tomorrow no let's okay as we've seen this month level let's look for let's look for another demand level let's look for one more supply level and then we'll go to the lower time frames and then to see what we have uh for better let's use uh this level okay this okay let's in fact let's go to the lower time frame then because it looks like the monthly time frame is not giving so much candle data to allow us okay so for example um this is a, a quick move up this is followed by another quick move up okay 
let's see let's see what this demand price came and found support here it found support in the this is de this is a demand level First candle and as I've already said the last bearish candle so the low of that candle be exact as you can see and then and then there it is the open of the candle obviously immediately immediately If you start seeing okay this is not drawn so perfectly but as I'm saying notice notice this big twin twin candle quick rip this is a big reversal sign but you see this this is one of the reasons why in, 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 in trading you have to be patient because you see just as price shattered through it if you ideally you're expected to put your stops here okay so we wait for price to do you wait for the initial break and then you you, you buy on the bounce you buy on the you buy on the retest so breakthrough reversal and then what happened boom retest again but so you you ideally here yeah, it's easy it's here to, it, this is where you you look for your longs you look for your long your long positions here now let's look left as the golden rule says look left for clues that what we did is right is it let's go check it out look price is price is respected this is what we say price respects structure Price is you see, price is showing you is giving you a clue that yes this de this demand level is very significant there it is let's keep going let's see if we will find more clues this was an earlier one in fact let me just uh, shrink this just to look out for to find looking for further clues anyway we might not get them because these are early days. That's fine, but we will, we will get a lot. The most of you find a lot of clues if you practice. But you, you you find them so much, especially on the lower time frames. The clues are there for you to see that what you're doing is right. I'm just this is this is just to guide you. This is just to uh, teach you how to draw structure, how to determine support, how to determine resistance zones, how to look look for support and resistance, look at demand and supply zones in your trading you have to learn to pl learn to plot these and then you have a better idea it builds your knowledge of what the market is doing okay let's go to that let's go to the lower time frame for the first time let's go here as you can see that is very long term sideways moving the market And as you can see, we, we have certain, like I said, clues. This was a this is a this is this is a supply level, sorry, this is a demand level that we determined on a higher time frame. And as you can see, it's clearer here. You see, you see that you see the double bottom. It's not so clear though. But this is if you if you've worked if you if you if you have a lot of chatting time, you you tend to see them as they as soon as you see it, you're able to tell this is a double bottom. Because you see, you spend time, you commit yourself to your chats. Uh, let me make it a bit apparent. Uh, I'm not. I'm just going to draw this. Uh, yeah. Double bottom. And as I said, these patterns are signs of reversals in the market. They they they, they, they give us clues that okay, the it's a confirmation. It's like a confirmation that the market is going to what reverse, double bottom, and double top. This is one of them. The reverse. The heads and shoulders is another one and boom there you go and like i said it's not always that market will the price will price will retest you see it, it, it just shattered through the level it didn't even retest no it formed a double bottom and then it's off 
price came back to looking it came back again to that that same uh, support or demand level and then it shot up again then this time around it came into the demand level and guess what it formed another double bottom so you see just here and then you see and you see again this should tell you that the demand level that you drew on the higher time frame is valid it's 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 it's, it's giving you con it's you see it's through you see if you do it properly it will throw you opportunities if you determine, determine them properly if you you do you, you practice practice you get perfect at it sometimes you draw it and then you you you'll be amazed that ah, you'll be amazed at yourself wow i I have drawn this already. I have already determined. I, I was expecting this and it happened. I'm getting better at the market. It grows your confidence. It develops your confidence as a trader. Let me put in this other double bottom here. Yeah. There it is. And you see, with time. You see, I'm, I know that most of you, especially the newbie traders, when you see this, you will not see it. You, it, it is not apparent that it's a double bottom. But you see, with time, when you have, you spend a lot of time on the charts, and then you, you learn, you, 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 you learn the trade, you learn your trade, you learn, you learn market structure, you, you practice, you, you commit yourself, pick a chart a day, do the, do the work, do the, do the exercise, go in higher high, lower low, put in the. I put in the structure, know the structure, put in the demand and then the supply levels. When you do that, you realize that at guess point, you don't even have to put the lines in. Your eyes will become trained to seeing them before they happen. Just as with this, you see, both of them I was able to tell straight away. That's a double bottom. I mean, it doesn't go to say that every time it's supposed to be a double bottom before it is a reversal. No, this is this is a this is a, it's a healthy coincidence that for the. But well, the two times price came into the level, it formed a double bottom to what to get out of the level. Okay, now let us look at it. Another let's let us for practice it. Let's draw another supply zone. I want to okay. So now, and as I said, for supply zone, demand and supply zones, you're looking for the last candle, the last bullish candle up for a supply zone, and the last bearish candle down. Let me rephrase that. You are looking for the last buy candle up and the last sell candle down. Let's see. Uh, we have you here, and for the for the this is so this is it. So in this case, we are looking at this. This is our last bullish candle or our last buy candle, and then this, and then it, it is the open, as you know. So the high of the candle, that candle, the high, and then the open of the candle. And as you can see, I don't need to tell you. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to, color, I'm going to shade the clues. That tell you that this level you have drawn is relevant to the market's activities. It is relevant. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. So this is my first clue. Clue number one. Clue number two. I mean, if this 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 this, this it helps you grow in confidence as a trader. If you're able to analyze the market and then you see where the market is, what developing it's what it's movement. Look, there are several clues that tell you that okay, this demand level that we have picked up is key. And what happened? These levels every time notice whenever price came to those zones there was a drop there was a drop it always has a, a healthy drop and you see it tells you it throws you up it tells you where the opportunities in the market are we can keep going left we can keep going price broke through and then retested and then it tried you see it tried several times to break above but the level is very strong it tested it here again rallied a bit and then went came back retest and then bounced off to another demand level I'm sorry to another supply level let's see if we can get more further clues anyway uh, chats are a bit let's just anyway so as we've as I said now that we've okay so now let's go forward looking after looking left to confirm 
that okay our supply level is is, is solid enough let's 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 go okay let's let's go let's see what's happening here okay notice what happens when price gets to that level this time around price form the reversal candle but market activity again market activity so you see price is respecting structure price is respecting your analysis because you are doing your analysis based on what the market is doing not what you think is the right thing no never you got a mistake now let's keep going and there look at the candle it broke closed exactly look at where it closed exactly on the on the lower side of your your previous let me call it your previous supply level price came back which which has now become a demand level by the way because you see look at it price came to test and then and bounce off further confirmation that your, your your analysis is relevant oh beautiful now look here price came it retested and then it dropped and then what after some time it went and then came back to that same level supply became your supply level now your supply level previously became it became a, a demand level then now it, it failed and then now it has become a supply level again tested it and then dropped you see and and that is how markets behave you see when you it, it will keep it will keep it will keep playing around these levels for you and it throws opportunities so imagine if let's say let's just say let's just say for let's say for uh, for the sake of the chat uh, when price came here you were expecting to sell here in fact the clues are all there overbought but here's the case you if you were selling here you're going to lose because of course I mean you can nobody can predict the future but we have these tools these these levels to guide us to a large extent on on how we we, 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 we navigate the market and how best we can protect our capital so it went through and depending on and again remember depending on your risk reward ratio if you have one is to four okay for every one risk you take you expect you are targeting four four times the reward three times three more times the reward so say you have one part lost here but here's the case price came into your level here and so if you're buying here you do your you do your your trade management you buy here this is going to be a gain for you. You have obviously recovered that loss that you made and made two more. And so you're already in the money. You've grown your capital. And this is a four hour time frame. So with the focus on this level, this demand and supply level now, this, because, and I'm calling it both demand and supply because since we've drawn it here, price has gone below, has gone above it, has danced on top of it. And so as it goes up and down across it, it's, it changes from being a demand level to a supply level and then back. If you bought here, you've lost, you would have, you would have lost, you, and you see you lose one, and then you, you buy here, you gain three more. So however you, however you, you, you would navigate the market, so long as you have this to guide you, 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 when you win, you win more, when you lose, you lose, and you lose far less. And don't let anybody deceive you. That analysis, when you do analysis, it makes you immune to losses. No. Once you're done with your analysis, you need confirmations. Once you know that, okay, these are key levels. When price gets to these levels, what is the confirmation for me? That, okay, it looks like prices, prices is going to, is going to, uh, is going to reverse or is going to retrace. No. What, you have to find these confirmations. So, and as I said, you, you, you need additional indicators. For example, you have the RSI to tell you that you have the MACD to look out for reversals in terms of uh, divergences and convergences. You 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 have all these tools that give that guide you that that give you that, that comfort that, that 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 tell you that okay the market is getting exhausted at this level, so I'm expecting to sell here or I'm expecting to buy here. I have earmarked this level as a buy zone, a potential buy zone. So you see, it's a it's a supply and demand, but it is a potential. It's a potential zone for you to what to find an opportunity to trade the market. Okay, let me let me let me try and then let's see if we can. Um, this okay. This is a month. Let's 
this this is the high remember the high and the open already if you notice there's a line there there's a line that is from there that line is coming from where that line is coming from the the higher time frame supply level that was drawn but this is a mini supply level within that supply level so sure per habit you see i keep it's what I, it's it's how i i have come to develop myself as a trader it's a habit i have now look carefully look at the opportunities if you are able to draw it properly first drop you might not you might not get this one because you cannot tell when this is forming that it's going to drop this way is after this has happened or after this and this has happened and even this that is when you might look for you might be able to now pick and then get some opportunities let's be realistic as a trader I have to also be and as, as a, as a as a teacher, I have to be also realistic to you. I have to be honest. Because you see, nobody can tell you, okay, so as soon as I, this happened, I know it's, no, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a supply zone, no. It has to happen like this. This will drop, come back and then test the level and then drop. In fact, if you have to be even honest with yourself, it is this candle that will give you an idea or a clue that this, this, this zone is looking like a supply zone so to be frank let's 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 re let's let's re, re let's re-edit our zone this it should be here and then there i mean it yeah it gives you, you see it gives you an idea what's happening in the market there it is so you see now and the next time price comes in here you are expecting to sell so you do your analysis and then see price has and this formed a reversal signal. This and this, this candle alone is a, rever it's a, it's a it's a confirmation of a reversal. Then price came back in here again. You see, so the opportunity. If you do your, like I said, if you do your analysis, if you if you chart your, if you if you if you if you if you take your time to practice your practice market structure, learn how to determine demand and supply zones. If you you. You learn, you, 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 and you come to learn how to see where your supports are, your resistances are. These, these, they, 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 they help, they throw opportunities at you. You, it, it makes the market more relatable. It gives you, it gives you a better view, a better overview, a better outlook of the market. Anyway, are you saying, uh, okay. Some people prefer to. Let's let me let me try and then okay let me try and then go. You see, so you see where it's, it, 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 the opportunities are there. They are there. Nobody. Okay. I'm trying to. I want to as much as possible do enough of this supply and demand so that you get a good understanding of what I am talking about. So okay, let's use this. This this I'm going to because you see this is the last candle. There's the lowest candle here. I just came in here, drop, drop. Let's use this one. Let's see what opportunities it will throw for us. And the fact that you do you draw it and it hasn't true doesn't mean it won't because you see price is moving at its own convenience. And when it gets to that zone, the react you will see the reaction. So long as you have done what you the need for, you you've taken your time to analyze the market. You have drawn, you have you have made sure you 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 you've set in your structure. Okay, as I say, I'll keep I'll repeat again. The last bear, this is the last bearish candle here. So you're looking you're looking to draw a a, a demand zone here. Sorry, let's. This is it. So the bottom and uh, the open of the candle. Remember that the bottom and the open of the candle here. As you can see, this is here for us to see. So if, if as time goes on, when you draw them, you find the clues. Look left, look left, always look left to confirm your analysis look left the same as initial confirmation of your analysis that yes my analysis as a, i'll use the word again relevant 
Now let's let's go to the left and see what happens there. Okay. So as you can see, there's you see as soon as as soon as you see the reaction of price at your at these levels, it tells you it confirms to you. It confirms to you. Here you go. There it is. See. Price came from below, and when price got here, look at the bodies of the candles as it got into the demand level. This is it's become it's coming from below, so it's just a supply level. Look, then the bounce okay. It played around it. Finally, it bounced off it with a bullish engulfing, and I was off. Price came very close, but it couldn't get close enough. Um, let's go. Let's go back. Look at what happens when price came into your zone. It became the supply zone. Supply became demand. Demand became supply zone. Look, price came in here and then dropped. There you go. Need I tell you more? Need I tell you more? Look at look at the look at the clues. It will throw the clue. It throws it at you. When 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 you do your analysis, probably the market, the chart, the charts will throw the clues. The market will throw you clues. They will they will show you. It will show you, it will give you confidence in your, your analysis. It grows your confidence. Look at these clues. Look, you didn't look at, we didn't look before we drew. We came, we're now going back to confirm. Did I do the right thing? Am I, um, am I on the right path? And as you can see, you see the red trend line. This, this should tell you, this is a monthly trend line that we drew for an initial up move. And you see, you see structure within the structure. See that on the monthly time, this was a big, it was a, it was a one, it was one structure. But you see, within that structure, there is a lot of activity going on. The structure. Learn to learn, learn to read the market. Learn to understand the market structure. Anyway, let me try not to. Okay, so you see them. So you see, when you do it, you now, you now, you see, um, at a at a first glance, you you can you, you can relate with your your chart. You see, you see, I see. Remember the double bot, the double bottoms. There they are. This chart is not even okay. It's not up to date yet, but I think we should we will we will we'll use this like that. We will take it for practice purposes. Pick it. Pick a candlestick. Pick it. Let's see, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. Anyway, so this should be it for this video, and uh, I hope you've learned something. I hope I hope you've been able to understand how to plot your demand levels, your demand zones, and then how to plot your, your supply zones, and then also how to see your, your, your supports and your resistances, okay, as, as we did on the higher time frame. Number, okay. Right. Um, that said, um, okay. to finally close, um, we're going to leave with an assignment. Pick a currency pair, clean it up, as we've shown in the earlier video on how to optimize your chart. Once you clean it up, draw in your market structure. Put in your market structure start from the higher time frame work your way down when you are able to do that you will start seeing clues in the market as soon as you are, you, you start doing it look for definite moves look retracements look for the retracements look for how five comes put in your structure put in your structure and when you are done with that you realize that the market will start will, now market moves will start being upright the market structure the market will start throwing clues at you now look for your demand levels look for your supply levels look for Areas where you see price dropping off sharply as it got to those areas. Look for the, the last bullish candle, the last bearish candle. Plot in your, your demand levels and then look left. Look left for confirmation. Look left for confirmation. I repeat, look left for confirmation because that is the golden rule. Look left for confirmation. Make sure you, 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 you've, you've taken the time. Do it. Repeat yourself. Repeat, repeat, repeat it. Read, find other candles. Set out. Have a routine. Today I want to work on card USD. US, USD card. 
I want to work on Euro card. I want to work on Euro NCD. I want AUD card. I want to work on Euro AUD. Pick the currency pairs. Every day, have a plan. Have a plan. If it's one, two every week, make sure you have a plan, depending on how your, your, your schedule is. But don't, 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 don't want to be a trader and not have time for the charts. The charts is what tells you what the market is doing. How you optimize it, how you analyze it, is how you are going to find opportunities and how you're going to, how well you're going to grow your account or whether or not you're going to be a, a successful or a, a non-successful trader. Anyway, this has been another lecture by Scalping Pro. I hope you've learned something and thank you very much for your time.